Yes, people, it's your boy Fred. I'm back again, back on your screens. Waited a whole 48 hours for Love Island. I didn't even do nothing. I never bathed, brushed my teeth, ate nothing. I just waited for Love Island because you know how we do. Gas. Yeah, nah, joking. I did all that still. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a funny guy like that still. But yeah, it's back today. Um, so it started with Maura and Lucy. Maura and Lucy tonight was mad tight. Like, they were like the two Fanny Flutter contenders. Mad tight tonight. Um, Maura talking about her newfound lust for Curtis. She likes the way he thrusts his hips, the way he electric slides and them things there. She loves all that. See, Maura, yeah? Maura's a savage. Absolute savage. She's a vulture. She don't care about being up no one's plan B or plan C. As long as she gets to D, that's all she cares about. Maura's an absolute savage. Maura and Lucy was talking about how um, Maura can get uh, Curtis away from the group and how when she goes over there, she wants to make it look natural rather than she's going over to talk to him because all eyes are watching them, innit? Amy sitting there, do you know what I'm saying? Long story short, she got him, she got him, she got him away, innit? And then they were in the garden just doing their little thing, get me just... She, he's teaching her how to dance and stuff like that And yeah Amy was just sitting there watching like Bitch, okay, okay bitch Jordan, Amber, Ovi and Anna came back from the, the, the little mad double date they had from the last episode And uh, yeah, they're back Anna was there talking to the girls Talking about how she really wanted to kiss Jordan But very, 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 whatever, whatever Anna is the biggest shit chatter of all time She needs a pimp slap like, she just chats the most shit, I swear to God. Anna said she was going to go speak to Ovi because obviously after the date, she wanted to see like what's going on and all that stuff. And um, Lucy says George forgets everything she tells him. <laughs> George, that guy here, yeah, I swear to God, he comes like a statue. I don't know what he is. The guy just, a, I don't know, he's, a, he's like a human sponge. He just sits there, soaks in everything. Not a nothing, no response. Wake up, man. What's, George. Oh. <sighs> George, George, George. Man like George. Anyway, Craig David came in the house. Craig David. Every time I think of Craig David there, eh, I just think about the... I don't know if everyone ever saw the Bow Selector thing. That guy savaged Craig David. But yeah, Craig David came in the house doing his thing. Everyone was throwing their gun fingers up. Doing their gun... Yeah! Everyone in the house was a gunman tonight. Because everyone's gun fingers was up. I'm not going to lie. It was sick that Craig David was there. Because boy, I ain't seen my man since... I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen him for a while, in it, but it was good seeing him still. Why he was there, I, I don't know. Yeah, good one, Craig. The girls were all sat in the garden. Anna, Amy, Amber, and I think Molly May as well. And uh, basically, um, Amber was saying, well, no, the girls were saying that they think that Michael is not really into Joanna. That he still got feelings for Amber, and they were all kind of like in agreement with like what they think. And Amber. Kind of was thinking the same kind of thing as well. And Joanna's, um, no, Anna's there saying that Ovi doesn't really do it for her. Like, so she likes the Shrek look of um, Sideshow Bob. That whole Shrek look, the teeth, the, the way the teeth derailed, that's her thing, yeah? Um, and Amy's there. Amy's, Amy's basically, she was trying to go, I don't know, she still wanted to talk to Curtis. The girls beat the shit out of her with a pillow. I would have done the same thing. I would have even hit her harder. Like, Kicked her off the bed and stuff. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but the girl did the right thing there. Don't be going back to talk to Curtis. You said your stuff. You dropped the mic. You left the stage. Don't come back. Maura and Lucy was there, sat there talking again in one of their many scenes together tonight. Like, Maura saying she can't stop thinking about Curtis. She wouldn't mind if he electric slided into a fanny. Like, she was just on stuff tonight. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, she wanted him to break dance. Maura and Lucy called... Marvin and George over Savagery The savagery they done Both of them on the spot Basically They was both like You know what We don't think it's working out with you lot So Basically that's it That's the end of the relationship And George George just sat there like George does Not saying nothing Just looking Admiring himself like You get me Marvin Marvin's got a bit more fire about him Marvin was going back and forth Like yeah What, what the fuck What are you talking about Ray, Ray, All this bullshit Maura was like, Maura was getting mad as well. They had a little back and forth and stuff, but essentially Marvin is over in it. Just take the dumping, take the L, bye, gone in it. Just take the L, bye. She doesn't want to be with you. It's not working out. Take it. Maura said, let's be friends, basically. Maura and Lucy basically told the guys, 
let's be friends. Dunked both of them on the spot. They hit two birds with one stone. But you know what? I know it was those guys that wanted to hit those two birds with a stone. I'm telling you now. They were mad. Well, not so much George, but Marvin was fuming. Marvin was, Marvin was angry, innit? Yeah? That was starving Marvin angry. Anna and Ovi spoke in the garden, innit? They were sat there, spoke in the garden. He was f holding the two fluffy gold pillars. And she sat there in a, in a little uh, 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 pink satin jump, jumpsuit she was wearing or whatever. And then they were talking. And uh, he was saying, look, I got a lot of pride, innit? Like, no lie, I got a lot of pride, but I like you a lot, innit? I'm not gonna lie, I like you a lot, but I got a lot of pride. But, and she's like, yeah, like, I like you too, but I overheard you at the date to tell it, um, say, telling Amber you would, you're gonna take um, Joanna off Michael's hand and all these things. And she didn't like it, basically. Yeah, and basically that started an argument. They started, uh, well, not so much an argument. Um, Anna was talking a lot. Um, Ovi was trying to talk, but she would not let him get a word in, innit? She would not let... Let's see, but right then, yeah, I would have just went, shut up. No, nah, I'm joking, I wouldn't have. But, like, shut up, man. Just let the man talk. But she weren't letting him talk. Very rare. Ovi got, Ovi got mad, walked off, and said, Jordan, go grab your missus. Go get your woman, in it. I'm done. You can have her. Yo. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. See, Ovi, yeah? I was watching that in it because I'm from the hood, didn't it? Man's from man's man's boss, two guns and all that. And I'm joking, but Ovi, yeah, Ovi's Ovi's a real guy, in it. He said to her, "Man's not a you, in it. Don't be treating me like a you." See when them words start coming out on television, that's anger talking. His whole persona that he was trying to hold gone. He was mad. He's saying, "Look, this girl's trying to man me." He's thinking, Yo, "I'm a man that gets gal," and you're trying to like boy me off. Like he wasn't having it. Ovi was not having it. He was pissed. I would have been pissed too. Anna wasn't even letting him talk or nothing. Do you know what I'm saying? He told Jordan, go get your girl in it. Sideshow Bob is in his head. He was doing backflips. He's saying, yo, this is my turn in. I reckon Ovi has bust his gun once or twice before. You know what I'm saying? He might have even done a little life sentence before. I don't know. I'm joking. No, but yeah, that, that really, that, that was cold to know how that went down. Uh, like, Jordan's there like, oh, she was already my missus anyway. Bro, shut up, man. You look like Shrek. She wasn't your missus. She left you in a heartbeat when that guy walked in. Shut up, man. You're getting scraps. Scraps. Amber, my girl, Team Amber. Hey, 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 hey. My, hey, all my Amber team, yeah. Shout out to my Amber people, innit, yeah. Amber, yeah. People saying she's immature. She took Ovi away from that situation, you know. She dragged him away. She said, Ovi, you don't need to lower yourself to this, innit. You don't need to, like, make yourself... You know what I'm saying? She took Ovi away, calmed him down, spoke to him... I said, look, just conduct yourself in the way you want to be seen. Don't, don't be bringing yourself down to like that level. Do you know what I'm saying? I rate Amber for that. I rate Amber for that. And what does this Anna, Anna, this look, this stuffed turkey looking girl, yeah? What does she do? She takes Jordan, flipping Shrek to the terrace, and then they start kissing. They start kissing and shit. Disrespecting the whole moment. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's what happened. I don't even know what Anna expected, yeah? Like, you're trying to play two guys against each other. You played two guys against each other until one of them got pissed off and, like, didn't, couldn't take it no more. And you think you're in the right. So, yeah. Joanna and, Mike, Joanna and Michael went off to talk. Um, Joanna said she'd been off with Michael recently because, like, he, she didn't feel like he completely cut things off with Amber. Do you know what I'm saying? And then he's explaining, saying, now, nah, I've, I've explained to her where it is very rare. Look, jo Joanna, yeah, she laid the smack down tonight she showed who the fucking boss is she showed who's who tonight in it she told michael look you have to stop being friends with her listen yeah first of all for me for person that's a red flag right there how the hell are you gonna tell me who the hell to talk to or not talk to shut up dickhead listen don't uh, uh, uh. But listen yeah joanna said to him like you can't be friends with amber no more basically all that friend stuff has to talk has to stop because the wrong signals are being given out or whatever, whatever. They, they only known each other for like four days, you know. Four days and she's telling them who we can be friends with and can't be friends with. Michael agreed. Like, like, like the cocksucker that he is, he agreed. Joanna was in the dressing room when they was all getting ready and stuff. And then she was speaking to the girls, Molly Mae and Amy and them. And she's saying basically she's unclear like who said who to who, innit? Like who's lying and who's not lying. And in that room... They made, came up with the idea that both of them should be got together 
and they should discuss this. Like, just to see who's lying. Get Michael, get Amber together, Joanna sit there, and then we come out, see who's lying, who's telling the truth, and who's bullshitting, innit? Anna and Ovi then went in the... Well, Anna and Ovi went in the garden to discuss their... Their past beef, just to sort it out and all that. Because, you know, every time they beef one day, the next day they have to resolve it because you got to live there with people, so you got to keep the calm. They went in the garden... Ovi, Ovi, well, Ovi, do you know what? Ovi's such a pimp, yeah? He can get away with what he was wearing tonight. He was sat there looking like a guava Rubicon. He just looked such a, like a G in that. In that outfit, he looked like a G still. So Ovi and Anna are sat there talking about um, what happened the other day. And they both kind of, kind of like, no, Anna more kind of like apologised sort of thing. And then they both agreed just to remain cool with each other. And then, like, Anna asked for a hug, but Ovi didn't really want a hug because Ovi said, look, with what happened the other day, I would have left it at that. I wouldn't even have come to apologise to you or come to say anything back to you because he felt highly disrespected. And even after all that, Anna wanted to hug it out, and they hugged it out. They, they hugged it out. She went over to get to the girls just chatting shit, talking about, oh, I will interrupt him if I wanted to, if I want to interrupt him, if he's chatting shit. But a second ago, when you're just talking to him, you just apologised for interrupting him. What the fuck are you talking about, you stupid bitch? Like, I'm sorry, like, Anna just annoys me. She pisses me off. I was warming up to her, and now I just want to push her off a cliff. I'm sorry. Like, she gets on my nerves. She's so fake. She's dumb. She's so fake. She's such a plastic bitch. Like, I'm sorry. I just want to put on a tombstone or a DDT or something. Or just jump off the rope and just give her an elbow. She was just pissing me off tonight. Anna and Shrek then went off, spoke, um, Anna, uh, Anna said, uh, Shrek asked Anna what happened, do you know what, I'm going to call Anna Fiona now, Shrek's wife, like, she's Fiona, or I'm going to call her Shrekisha, that's what I'm going to call her, so, Fiona then went over, spoke, spoke to Shrek, and talked about, oh, yeah, I told Ovi, we're just going to remain friends and stuff, and then she's like, oh, I know now that I really like you. And then her and Shrek kissed. And they're going to live happily ever after. Waste men and waste woman. Get out of here, man. I'm not going to lie. You know what? You know why tonight's episode was like one of the best episodes for me? All right, maybe it's a bit of an exaggeration. Thanos was not, was hardly ever present on our screen tonight. I didn't see him. I hardly saw him. Like, and then for like a couple seconds, you saw Jordan. But you hardly saw Thanos. You saw him for a split second, but... I'm happy. If you got that kind of screen time till this thing done, I'm happy for him. Do you know what I'm saying? I was I was happy about that. And then Joanna took um Michael and Amber away to talk, like they discussed earlier on. And boy, boy, boy. They sat there and Michael was saying, Look, I didn't lead her on and all this stuff. Amber was saying, So what did you say? And then Michael was saying what he said. And then while he was reiterating it, Amber was like, Okay, looking at Joanna. So Joanna, like, girls get these, girls have this kind of like girl code and girl intuition, they kind of get each other in it. So in between what Michael was saying, Joanna could read that Michael was kind of still leading her on. You haven't completely shut down the panel, the, 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 the tunnel, innit? You haven't completely shut down the relationship. You're kind of still giving her hope. So when Joanna spot the lines, in, like the, the discrepancies in what he's saying, she said, look, all right, cool. You kind of led this girl on, on in it. We're going to shut all this down right here, right now. Joanna's kind of a boss bitch. I'm not going to lie. She laid shit down. She said, look, this is what it's going to be. And it was that. And they literally, that was that. That was that. Honestly, that was that. More on Lucy again. Again, again, again. God knows how many times I've seen them together. I swear to God, these two girls. Anyway, Mora said basically her fanny's on overdrive. Like, she just needs to, like, needs to go speak to Curtis, innit? And she went over to where the boys were. She couldn't quite get the words work. She was, like, this is the first time you probably see Maura nervous. That's how I know, like, her fanny must have had cramps. She was so nervous. You know, like, when you get the butterfly effect in your stomachs? But she gets it in her fanny. But, yeah, she went over. She couldn't speak to him at first because all the boys were there. She finally got him away by himself. And then she was telling him, look, I like you. Rare, rare. And then Curtis was like, look. I was in your DMs on the outside. I tried to message you. And it, basically, they said they like each other. But Curtis said he's not going to do anything while Amy's in the house and all this stuff. And yeah, that was that. 
that was that was basically that really. For me, the highlight tonight was Anna and Ovi in it. Anna, you can't be treating my guy like that, man. You dickhead. Anyway, it's your boy Fred Stones. I'm back again tomorrow for another review. You know how we do. Holla.